The problem with college is there's too many college degrees now. Too many people have degrees and it devalues the value of that degree. Back in the day around the 1950s, if you had a college degree, you made it. Things were a lot more simple back then. Not everybody had degrees, so if you had a degree, you were special and you were in demand. Now if you have a college degree, you're not sure if you can get a job or not. There's so much competition nowadays, it's frustrating to even apply to jobs. There's there's people that apply to thousands of jobs and can't get an interview or they'll get an interview and then get ghosted. If y'all ever seen a resume around the 1950s, you didn't have to have much on it. It literally just says your degree and the job that you had. Nowadays, a resume, you need a whole page, paragraphs and sentences talking about how efficient and detail oriented you are as an employee and how your department performed better when you worked there. You didn't need all that back then. Back then, you literally Clearly only needed a couple words. You only needed to write what degree you had and where you worked. That's it. You didn't have to describe nothing. And you know a lot of the older people like our parents, they want to talk about all you got to do is go to college, get a job, save up, and you could buy a house. That worked back then. That worked during their time when houses used to be 50,000 and 20% down is only 10K. Now houses are like 500,000. 20% down is $100,000. It just doesn't seem realistic nowadays to own a home. And even getting a college degree doesn't seem like it's worth it anymore. Everybody has one. It's not that impressive anymore. It's like back then when the first car came out and only a few people drove it. It was impressive if you had a car. Nowadays if somebody has a car it's not that impressive. You see them everywhere. Everybody has a car and that's how it feels like with degrees now. You don't stand out when you have a college degree. Every year thousands of people graduate. Thousands of people just in your field. It's tough now. So much competition. You don't need to go to college. You could go to trade school. You could learn a skill. You could be a plumber. You could be an apprentice somewhere. You don't need to go to college, but education is necessary. You always want to keep learning new things, new skills to expand your knowledge and your capabilities because you don't want to just count on a job because you don't know when you're going to get fired or when you're going to get laid off or what if the company doesn't do well and they they have to cut the workforce you always need a backup plan and that's when your skills come in hand your capabilities come in hand the more you know the less you have to rely on a job because if you have skills and you have knowledge and you know how to do things you'll have more than one income you don't need to rely on just a job because what if you lose that job and you can't can't find a job for a couple months and you can't pay the bills that's why you always need a backup plan the more you know the more ways you know how to make money because the only person you can rely on in this life is yourself and the best way to create stability is to have a lot of things going for yourself so you have options you don't have to rely on one thing relying on a job is so stressful because a lot of things aren't in your control you could get fired out of nowhere you could get laid off out of nowhere that's stressful you don't need a college degree to be successful I know so many people that have a job but don't rely fully on that job they have a side business they either have their own clothing line and they sell clothing online they're in a collectible business. They sell collectibles like sports cards, toys. But these are things that you have to learn. You got to know what's in demand and what's not. What sells and what doesn't. There's people that flip sneakers. And there's all types of markets. You could flip Jordans. Yeezys, anything that has resale value that you can get for retail. You could buy stuff from outlets. You can go to the Nike outlet, Burlington, Ross, and find things for cheap. All you have to do is look it up on eBay to see what it sells for online. And if it's cheaper in store, and you calculate after all the fees, the stamps, the envelope, and shipping, if there's a profit margin, then it's something you could buy and flip online. You don't need to go to college and get a business degree. If you think about it, most entrepreneurs don't have a business degree. Most people that have their own business don't have a business degree. People that have companies, some of them don't even have degrees. You're going to school, learning from professors that never even had their own business. What can they teach you about running a successful business? But going to school and getting some type of education, whether it's a certificate, going to trade school, learning how to be a plumber, electrician, or going to college and getting a degree that's useful is necessary, depending on what you wanna do in life. 
If you want to be a doctor, you need to get an education. You need to get that degree. You can't be a doctor without a degree. Getting an engineering degree is useful. Getting a degree in a medical field is useful. But you got to ask yourself, what do you want to do? Most people go to college and have no idea exactly what they want to do. And then when they graduate, they realize there's no jobs in their field or they majored in the wrong thing, but they spend thousands of dollars getting that degree. And sometimes I think some people are better off without going to college because at the end they just work retail anyway, or they work in fast food, something that don't even require a degree, but now they're a hundred K in debt. They're in a worse position then before they went to college, they could have just grinded out for four years instead. Save up that money and not have to be in debt. You got to have a plan. When you do something, ask yourself why you're doing it. Is it actually going to benefit you? Is it actually going to benefit your future? Do you really know what you're doing? Or are you doing something because someone told you to? Because no one knows what you're really capable of. No one knows you better than yourself. So it's something you have to decide. And if it makes sense to you, college is not for everybody. There's too many useless majors and useless degrees out there that I don't even understand why they have these degrees. I feel like you should have advisors or counselors that talk to you about your major and actually talk to you about if there's any job opportunity within that major. And there should be a statistic telling you how many people actually get a job in that field when they graduate. So that way you know if you're setting yourself up for failure or if you're setting yourself up for success. But the education system don't care about you like that. They just want your money. And a lot of people just tell you, just go to college, just go to college. But they don't tell you what's the best major to major in. And they don't tell you what jobs you can actually get if you major in something. You don't wanna go to school to major in liberal arts or English, unless you're planning to be a teacher or a professor. Otherwise, there's no jobs out there. What job can you get with an English major if you're not gonna be a teacher or a professor? Now, if you wanna be an English teacher or English professor, then go get that degree, you need it. If you wanna major in communications, you better wanna be a communication professor because what job can you get with a communications degree? It's hard, it's hard to get a job when you have these useless degrees, unless you're in the teaching field. And it's frustrating that you don't have any school counselors telling you maybe these majors are not the best idea. Maybe you should do something else. To tell you that most people who major in liberal arts or communications, struggle to find a job afterwards, spending a hundred K just to work fast food or retail, getting that degree just a struggle. It's the worst feeling. Or talk to you about, oh, maybe you should major in these fields because most people that major in this, they have a higher likelihood of getting a job in that field and they can actually make enough money to support themselves, to make it worth it for that hundred K education to actually make sense. Why get a degree to make 30k or 20k now let's talk about why you should have multiple streams of income you can't rely on just a job because there's people that stay with the same company loyal put the job first even if they work for that company for 10 to 20 years if the company is doing bad or they need to cut workforce they wouldn't hesitate to lay you off so you have to have a backup plan you have to have some skills or some knowledge to know how to make money other ways not just a job. There's people that I know that because they had a side hustle, that because they open up their own clothing line or flip sneakers, some just do it for an extra source of income and others have made it to the point where they quit their job. They no longer need that job. They can focus on their own business and build their own empire and work on their own time and to do the things they actually wanna do in life. But that requires getting out of your comfort zone. There's so many ways to make money especially if you're in a first world country. You just need to find what you're good at and you have to be willing to learn new things. Do you wanna be the type to work two to three jobs? Because there's people I know that work really hard. They work two to three jobs in retail or in a restaurant. Or do you wanna to go to college and get a degree and work in an office job? Or do you wanna start your own business? There's so many opportunities, but you gotta create the opportunity for yourself. If you want something, ask yourself, how am I gonna get it? And there's plenty of examples. There's millions of people that work in different fields, that started their own business, that became successful in so many different ways. You have so many examples to look at. What did they do to make it? What type of choices did they make? What did they prioritize? Did they prioritize going out 
partying? Did they stay within their comfort zone? Or were they laser focused? They had a plan and they implemented and they followed through and they were consistent. They didn't know everything. Nobody knows everything as long as you're willing to work. Go through the trials and errors. Learn as you go. As long as you're willing to do that, you'll get far in life. You just have to be willing. Business owners don't have all the answers. They just start their own business and they learn along the way. If you sit there and think about, oh, but what if this goes wrong? What if that go wrong? But I don't know this, I don't know that. Then you're just gonna stay where you're at. A lot of things in life you learn along the way. When you went to college, when you went to school, did you have all the answers? No, you just learned along the way. There were a lot of unexpected things that you had to face. But when you got there, you solved it. You figured it out. Even life itself. Do you know everything in life? Do you know exactly how your life is going to play out? No, you, you just go... You just go through life. And as problems come, you figure it out. You worry about it then. If you just sit down all day, think about what if this happened? What if that happened? What if I don't know the answer to this? What if I don't know the answer to that? So I just don't do anything. Then what, you just gonna spend the rest of your life just sitting there wondering? It's called analysis paralysis. You analyze too much, you think too much to the point where you scare yourself. You come up with reasons why you shouldn't do something. Just come up with a plan and do it. If there's something you really wanna do, and it's your dream, it's your passion. Just come up with a plan and do it. Overthinking it is just gonna stop you from doing the things you wanna do in life, from doing the things that you're passionate about, from doing the things that you love. I bet you don't overthink about partying. I bet you don't think about, oh, when I go to this party, this might go wrong, that might go wrong. No, you just go and you have a good time. You keep certain things in mind though. You know what to be careful about and then you just go about it. And if something happens, you solve it. You worry about it then. But the best thing you can do is just to take precautions. Be aware of some things, but don't be afraid to do it. Look, in life, all rules are the same. And when I say all rules are the same, success is the same everywhere you go. Graduating high school or graduating college, that took a lot of work. That took a lot of getting out of your comfort zone. Going to school is not comfortable. You spend a lot of time studying. It's not easy, but you were consistent. You showed up and you did all the work consistently. That's why you got that degree. You put in work consistently and success is just putting in work consistently. It's the same rule. Anywhere you go, starting your own business, putting in work consistently is how you're gonna be successful in your own business. Showing up to your job consistently is what's gonna give you that promotion. All rules are the same. And when you understand that, life does become a little bit easier. It's not complicated, but it's stressful because there's some things you can't control in life. And I think that's the most stressful thing. But sometimes we just gotta tell ourselves, there's no point in worrying about it if we can't control it. The only thing we can do is to try our best and play the game of life the best way with the cards that we were dealt. That's the only thing we can do. We can't control the cards that we were dealt. We can't control what other people say or what other people think. So let's not worry about what other people say and what other people think. Just worry about yourself and play your cards right and make the right decisions. If you can do that, you'll be very successful in life. If you wanna get in shape, you gotta go to the gym consistently. Eat the right amount of calories. Meal plan. The point I'm trying to make is, success is just working hard consistently. What you do on a daily basis, those are gonna get you the results. If you don't go to work consistently, you're gonna get fired. If you don't study, if you don't do your homework, if you don't take that exam, if you don't show up to school consistently, you're gonna fail. If you don't put an effort in your relationships, in your friendships consistently, it's not gonna work out. If you don't go to the gym consistently, you're not gonna be in shape. Whatever you do consistently is the result that you get. If you don't take care of yourself consistently, your health gonna decline. It's not about motivation. It's about what you do on a daily basis. It's about what you work on consistently. It's not even about discipline. The reason why I say that is you don't need motivation or discipline to eat. It's more of a lifestyle. What type of lifestyle do you want to live? It's about what you do every day. You have to ask yourself, where do you want to be in life? Is what you're doing going to get you there? Is being comfortable going to get you there? Or do you have to do something that you're not familiar with. You have to do something different to get a different result. You keep doing the same thing, you are gonna get the same result. You have to make adjustments, make some changes to improve yourself. 
if you want to improve yourself. The beautiful thing about success is there's not just one way of achieving it. There's many ways to be successful. You just got to put in the time and the research and figure out what you want to do and what you're good at and work on it consistently and you'll get there.